Hello everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to another episode of my Scrap Mechanics Survival Adventure. Now as you can see today I am sitting in my base, or if you can even call it a base, <laughs> I sort of have a gate, not really, but uh, I actually found out that I can just do this. That. That sucks. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, but that's okay. That still doesn't change my plans for today because today I am going to be building my wall finally. I do need a wall because I need to protect myself from haybots and I want to get that sense of a base, you know? I want to feel like I'm at home and I am uh, I'm protected. So my idea to build a wall is, uh, and bear with me here, it's to scavenge as many of these walls as I can and use that as my preliminary wall. Now I know what you guys are thinking, but Cosmo, the Haybots are gonna come and they're gonna destroy your stuff and you're gonna cry and you're gonna quit YouTube and you're not gonna wanna play Scrap Mechanic anymore. And you're probably right, but I do have a plan to reinforce this wall as time goes along. I just don't have enough material for that right now. So my plan is once these pieces get broken, I'm just going to replace these sections with blocks and eventually I will have a nice fortified wall. But without further ado, actually, I'm going to show you guys what I built here first. So as you can see, I have a little platform here. I had some extra stone. I'm kind of silly because I kept throwing out all my extra stone because I had too much and now I need it. I didn't think about that. So here we are. This is uh, my little platform. I'm going to keep building this out. This will probably become an enclosed like warehouse area at some point. But as you can see, here are my vehicles. Here are some supplies I may or may not be making a boat out of soon. And, uh, you know, here's the standard setup. Got some uh, production, sorry, production chests, finished product chests. I have my food chest here, if I can even open it. Food chest, you know, my little coffee table desk area. I don't know, guys. I try to make it homey, okay? And nothing's really, you know, changed here. Just have my trailer full of soil and seeds ready to be planted. Some spare uh, wall materials, which are gonna get destroyed in no time, but that's okay. So let's get in our truck. How much fuel do we have? We have full fuel there. Oh, we're okay. We should be okay. We're not, uh, we're not too loaded up, so we shouldn't be wasting too much fuel going there. Now, going back might consume a bit more fuel, but that's okay. Now, as you guys can see here, I've got a bit of a gap between my hood and my cab, and it's because I took one of your guys' advice, and I actually set my controller to one degree in the, you know, quote-unquote zero position, and that way the hood doesn't really glitch into the cab as much. It, uh, it still looks good. So, let's get in, and let's be on our way. I love this thing so much. I miss this truck i'm so excited to be using it again all right let's go so, oh my goodness this is fast okay um i think the engine's a little too uh too high so let's change that <laughs> i really wish you could change that like somewhere in the cockpit you know change the power levels i'm sure there is a way i'm sure i'm sure con can figure out a logic circuit to change your engine speed on the go somehow <laughs> Alrighty, and off we go so i'm gonna be finding all the little village like abandoned oh no oh no oh geez oh man my truck is tippy i didn't realize it was that tippy <laughs> as i was saying oh hi hi there i need some electronic kits hi cute cute thank you so as i was saying i'm going to be trying to find as many of those abandoned farmer villages as i can and basically just scavenging them for the supplies that i need i know that in like my first or second episode i felt bad about that but you guys kind of convinced me you know you uh you told me nobody really lives there it's abandoned so we're just gonna raid it and uh it is what it is you know i can definitely use the stuff and they don't need it because they're not there anymore. Ah, my old home. One sec, this is like a ritual right here. Boy, do I got a surprise for you, buddy. Oh, my thing's still here. Oh, I guess the surprise has kind of uh, been teased a little. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. Epic combat skills. Epic. <laughs> I didn't jump nearly enough and I was in third person, but whatever. I have the health. Don't look at this. Don't. It's nothing. It's nothing. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. It's all good. It's all good. So now that we took care of the Haybot in pod number two, or pod number two or pod number three? Pod number two. Oh, hello. I keep fighting in third person. I don't understand why. There we go. Back in the truck, and let's go to the next village. Or I guess it's the first village. Oh man, here we are, guys. The first. You know what? 
I'm not gonna read this one. I still like this one. It's kind of close to home. Hey, stop destroying that. That's not yours. Don't destroy public property. Or I guess private property in this case. But yeah, I kind of like this little section here. I think I want to keep it. I am gonna go on to the next village though. And I'm gonna just, you know, raid that. Because who cares? But this one, I, it's, you know, it's the closest to home. It's the first one I ever saw. I'm just gonna keep that one intact. I'm sure there's more than enough of those villages to go around. Alrighty, here we go. Cool. Alrighty, so I guess we gotta start taking it apart now. I, uh, I'll probably just time-lapse this, because it'll be super boring. It'll just be taking down walls. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Alrighty guys, well it seems like this little village has been fully depleted of all the shingle roofing and the siding, all the scrap siding. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty bare. It looks kind of sad actually, but it's okay. It's all good, you know, this is the uh, remains of the old world. Ooh, light. So, yeah, I thought my truck was, you know, pretty full, but I'm not satisfied. So we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna do the exact same thing and then we're gonna head back. Geronimo! <laughs> it's so heavy going past this packing station. I can't wait to start farming. Oh man, my suspension is bottoming out in the rear. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. A little wheel rub never hurt anyone. Alrighty, and I think, yep, here we are. Coming up to the next one. Oh, I actually raided one of these already, so that's kind of good. I mean, good and bad, but let's get the other two. This is getting pretty big. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. So I know what you guys are thinking, you're like, Cosmo, why are you doing all this work if they're so easily destructible? Well, I am going to actually leave an open gate in my base for a bit. That way, if Haybots do want to break in and attack my farm, they can just kind of walk in through the front gate and they don't have to destroy my base. I know that's kind of uh, counterintuitive to having a wall, but, uh, you know, baby steps, baby steps, we'll figure it out. My goodness guys <laughs> we managed to scavenge two villages uh, I think it took a couple of days but we're finally done uh, as you can see I kind of stopped trying to stack these things uh, well towards the end <laughs> I just kind of did whatever I don't know if this will even be enough but you know what I don't think my truck can carry anymore it will definitely be very tippy it will definitely be chewing through a lot of gas so let's just go home 
and start building our wall. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Actually, one thing to note, guys, if you're doing this, make sure that you pick up all the little extra scraps that fall off when you take off the wall pieces, because they will lag out the world if you just leave them there. So what I've done is, I don't want any of this stuff, so I've just kind of thrown it out of my inventory. Well, I've picked it up, and I've thrown it out of my inventory, and, you know, it uh, should technically disappear. So... Let's get back in the truck, turn around. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go home. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually crazy. I don't even think I want to be going faster because this is uh, this is extremely extremely sketchy i am so scared to get more speed here this is uh <laughs> this is so sketch honestly guys i got like into the mood of stacking these things and i didn't realize how much i actually had already watch this will be enough for like one layer of wall <laughs> not even <laughs> oh man that rear suspension is bottoming out i raised it a little bit i raised each of the suspensions by two notches but it's clearly not enough so let's try first person oh no <laughs> this is so sketch no no i'm going back through Third person. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Out of fuel. Ah, all the fuel. Alrighty, guys. Well, this is definitely going to be a bit of a slow journey. So, oh no, <laughs> it's sliding. Oh, it can't get up. It can't get up. This is definitely going to be a slow journey. Okay, I was gonna skip this, but let's let's raise our engine speed first and see if we can make it up. Even is that better? Oh no. <laughs> This is horrible. Okay, come on. You can make it up. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This thing just wheelies. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a little too much. All right, let's go. <laughs> that's a little better. Oh, man. I will see you guys back at the base. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, this is very entertaining to watch and see if I... Oh, no. No. <laughs> This is, we are so past the unsafe load limit, like it's, or I guess the safe load limit. <laughs> there is nothing safe about this haul right now. Nope, nope, I'm going way too fast. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Hello, mechanic station. Man, I love this mechanic. It's, it's got such a nostalgic feeling now. I will definitely not fit in that door. Oh man, we're booking it. We're booking it. That rear suspension is so bottomed out. You know what? I'm cutting across. I'm not taking that turn. I'm just going to cut across. <laughs> oh boy i love this i love this i'm s i honestly guys bringing chests would not have helped be oh no oh no tipping oh no 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 saved it saved it oh man bringing chests would not have helped because i don't think i think i would have spent so much materials just building chests for all this stuff that it's better to just pile it all on nope Careful. <laughs> oh, you, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ridiculous. Can I even... Okay, yeah, I can make it through this gate. That's good. That's good. Alrighty, guys. We are home. We are home, and we can start building our wall. Oh, jeez. This is crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that's enough uh, giggling and nearly catastrophic accidents. As you can see, I've cleared out my inventory a little bit. So now I am going to, I guess, start building my wall. Just get right to it. I'm going to build the first layer just, you know, so I have enough kind of to stretch it all the way. And then we'll see how high we can go. So let's get to it.
Alrighty guys, here we are. I've used most of the resources that I brought back. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Now, I did kind of mess up a little bit. I should have built across the road and then started, uh, you know, where the appropriate block began. So now, basically, I can't complete this wall if I ever wanted to. Luckily, I'm putting a gate on here, so um, I'll be able to figure something out. That's not a problem. Uh, this will all be blocks eventually, you know, like regular one by one by one blocks. Um, but in the meantime, this is looking pretty good. It's pretty long. I try to count how many pieces I actually put down, but I, I just kind of gave up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of gave up. I think what I want to do now is I want to build a bit of a catwalk. And for that, I need more pieces. Uh, I want to do something like this. Here, I'll show you because I got a couple. So basically, just put blocks down like that. Hopefully, that's wide enough. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, that's basically what I want to do. I'm going to have some stairs and then I'll be able to uh, run up and kind of, you know, inspect and see what's going on. Actually, you know what? I might use these as a fencing and then the big ones I'm going to use as a platform. I think that makes a little more sense. Anyway, you guys may have noticed I was working on this thing and I want this to be my door. I want it to be like a sliding door type deal. And for that, I need some pistons. So let's go see if I can build some pistons. Sweet. I can build pistons and I need two of those. Now I am going to have to go on another trip here to scavenge more materials. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, I'm going to do that off camera because you guys already know the deal. <laughs> you guys already know uh, that whole process. But I do want to build this wall up a little more. Just make it more of like a fort base type deal. Looking pretty good. Definitely could have mixed up the patterning a bit more. But this stuff's going to get replaced or wrecked or whatever. Who cares? Who cares? It's a scrap wall. It doesn't have to look pretty. Alrighty, let's see if those pistons are done. We got our pistons. Now I also need a button. Do I need a controller? I don't remember if I need a controller. Oh well, I guess we'll figure that out the hard way. <laughs> First, I'm gonna test how far a fully upgraded piston goes though. Man, it's weird. I've been able to farm component kits pretty well, but uh, electrical components are just... I don't know. They're pretty tough to find. Alrighty, we've got a max upgraded piston there. Still a good good amount of component kits left, actually. Let's put that there, uh, all the way to 15. Now if we press that, right, it, it needs to go in a controller, right? You're wrong. I'm being a dummy. I, ah, why am I such a dummy? Alrighty, let's make a control. Oh, we can't make a controller. I need electronic components. Well, I guess I gotta go kill some greenies. Oh, there's one. Man, I gotta venture far for these. Come on, little dude. Oh, there they are. Whoa, there's so many of them. I guess there's only two. <laughs> That's good though, because it's all I need. Perfect. Okay, now I have enough. Let's get this chest while we're here. Ooh, paint ammo. Awesome. Flowers. Perfect. Hi, Betsy. Or, you know, Betsy's cousin. I don't know. Alrighty, running back home. Gotta make a controller. Oh, what? There's a gold chest here. What do we got? Nice. Garment box. More circuit boards. Banana seeds. Cool. Flowers. Alrighty guys, we are back. Let's make this controller and mount this door up. Oh man, I can't wait. Alrighty, we got our controller. Slap this baby on. Perfect. Okay, now press that. What? Oh, duh. Wait, do I need a controller? I don't think I even needed a controller. I just didn't have a thing on it. Okay, let's test this out. Oh, I didn't need a controller. Wow, I'm dumb. So how far does that go? Hmm, the answer is not far enough. I'm gonna need two doors like that, I think. Yeah, I guess we need two doors. That's fine. I can just chop that in half. Can I? Sort of. Ah. Uh, well, I guess I can. I'll just make it six. Okay, I I'm making this so much more complicated than I initially wanted it to. I'm just gonna time lapse this. I'm gonna build this door and then we'll be good to go. I guess I really didn't need to build a controller. <laughs> oh man, all that for nothing. I mean, I'm gonna use this controller for something, but I'll always find good ways to waste time. That's for sure. Yeah, I guess I could always do it on a double piston. But then I gotta build more pistons, and I just wasted all my stuff on controllers. Ugh. Well, you know what, guys? That's something that I can do later. So I'm just gonna do it as is for now, and then we'll uh, we'll upgrade it with time.
Alrighty guys, well, my gate is, I guess, complete. I did, however, run into a pretty uh, weird issue, I guess. I guess it's not that weird, but I basically can't connect this button to this piston because I guess it's too far. I don't really know. Oh, maybe because they're not on the same creation? Is that why? Did they? Oh, they have to be on the same creation. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I need more time. Oh no, my gates aren't even built on the same plane. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to rebuild one of these walls. Lesson learned, guys. Build it all as one. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Let's see if my theory's correct. Okay, now I'll see if it can connect. Sweet. Aha, big brain time. I figured something out. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's watch my gates not line up. Actually, let's wait until daylight. No, you know what? Let's do it now. No, you know what? Let's wait till daylight. Alrighty guys, here we are. <laughs> I ended up making a bit of a sign during the night because I, well, I got a little bored. But here we go. It's, uh, it's official now. <laughs> so, let's test out my doors that don't line up. Now, I promise I will fix these. Uh, that's pretty, pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. But let's try it anyway. That's awesome. <laughs> they line up basically perfectly. I really want to see what this looks like from the outside. I haven't put a button there yet. Oh man, that's so cool. I love this. I love this. This is wicked. <laughs> well, I gotta climb the fence, I guess, to get back into my own place. <laughs> oh man. I got a bit of rebuilding to do, guys. I got a bit more resource gathering to do. I have to go get more of these... Uh, you know, shingle, roofing, scrap, siding, things, whatever you want to call them. Ooh, I was going to put these wheels in the doors as well. But I'll do that after I rebuild it. Um, but in any case, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I got a lot done. I looted two farmer's villages. I started building my wall. It's going really well. I'm pretty happy with my door, aside from the fact that it's off by one, uh, you know, one block. <laughs> uh, lots of lessons learned in this one, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had fun playing this episode. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It does help the video be seen by other people. And if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe with notifications on so that you can be notified of all the future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.